This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and we're back with some more hearth and home spoilers. So they released another video today and while extremely short, only 53 seconds long and could have maybe been summed up in just a tweet or something like that, I was able to pull a little more from the video than what they stated by watching it way more than I probably should have, but this is still gonna be a relatively short video. So basically all they really said in this video that matters is that the tower shield is gonna get a buff when it comes to knockback, the buckler is gonna continue doing what the buckler do and be for parrying, and then the round shield is gonna be a balance of the two. This is the second video where they've talked about playing a tank. In the previous video where they talk about food and they talk about eating food high in health allows you to tank more. And then in this one they talk about using the tower shield as a tank. It's starting to sound to me like they're trying to create a class based system depending on what combination of weapons and food you're using. This could be interesting, but I hope they're not trying to gear the game towards making sure you have to have multiple players of different classes in order to beat certain content. I hope everything is still doable within whatever class you decide to play. Okay, so let's talk about what I was able to pick out of the video. So first off, they show what appears to be a new shield. Looks like it's an iron buckler. So because of this, I'm assuming it's pretty safe to say that we're going to get a buckler for each tier. As it stands right now, we only have the bronze buckler. Shields are kind of a mess because we have the wood shield, we have the banded shield, the silver shield, and the black metal shield. So all of those would be considered the round shield, which in the video she mentions that those are going to be a balance type. As far as bucklers go, we only have the bronze buckler. So I'm assuming that they're going to add a wood buckler iron buckler, silver buckler, and black metal buckler that are specifically designed for parrying. And we will probably get a silver tier tower shield as well. Another thing that I noticed in this specific image is that there's a new food down there. It looks like it's in a mug, like some type of mug cake or something like that. No idea where that's going to stand between food or stamina or balance, but it looks like the character in this image has a balance between HP and stamina. The other thing I want to point out is that the stagger bar, when the character parries, and you can see that in this image, barely moves at all. They get the tiniest little bit of stagger. So I'm assuming that if you parry with this shield, it pretty much negates most of the stagger effect that you would get if you would just have blocked and not parried. The other thing I noticed is if you watch this clip replay over and over again, you will notice that the character, while blocking all of these attacks, does not build up very much stagger using the tower shield. So I'm also wondering if it's a situation where the tower shield also gives you a bonus to the stagger, preventing you from being staggered as easily as other shields. Now, they have a decent amount of HP in this, but it's not as too much more than what we see in the other clip or well what we see through the rest of the video so either there's some crazy scaling going on once you hit a specific amount of HP or it's a situation where the tower shield gives additional buffs that they're just not talking about and you'll notice here in this image that when the character got hit holding the rounded shield just doing a block not parrying or anything like that they took a large amount of stagger to their stagger bar. Not crazy, but much more than we saw from the shot where the character parried or even when the character was just holding up the tower shield, getting hit multiple times by Draugr. Now, there was a good bit of a difference in HP between the character with the round shield and the character with the tower shield but not between the character with the round shield and the character with the buckler. Which for me further bolsters my assumption that if you parry with a buckler, you take little to no stagger effect. And then in the final shot, we see that mug food that they have eaten in this video displayed on the table with what looks like onion soup. And I think that other one there is the black soup that we saw before. Then that, uh, I'm not sure what that is. They say new foods next week. So I'm assuming that's a new food and not carrot soup. And then the muffin thing that we've already seen multiple times. 
I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed that this week's video was only 53 seconds long. And I mean, there was a little stuff in there that they did not say that I was able to pull out of the video. But I mean, come on, the video is pretty much over now and I've barely hit five minutes. So there wasn't a lot of information in there. I feel like they're really dragging this out and I would like to see these videos be a little bit more involved. It's slightly disappointing and a little irritating at the same time that they're giving such tiny little minuscule hints like just explain the mechanics it builds more hype like to know exactly all this stuff like hey they could have said and you're gonna get these new shields i mean come on anyway i'm gonna stop ranting let me know what you think down in the comment section you excited you're not excited did i miss something i'll link the video down in the description per usual hop over there watch it see if i missed anything come back let me know in the comments all right that is going to wrap it up for this episode i want to give an absolutely massive shout out and thank you to my supporters on patreon for making this episode possible y'all are absolutely amazing people if you would like to join my elite crew patreon supporters please check out the link in the description below if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and share your support until next time thanks for watching